This, this is Saurabh, and, and you're listening to my favorite talk show, show the, the VG show, show with Aditya. Did the Survivor series live up to its hype of being a showdown between various champions and the bragging rights for brand supremacy to count the way they included Undertaker's farewell in a pay-per-view in a pay-per-view in which he made his debut all those years ago which propagated him to a cult status and the character that's been maintained for nearly three decades this was less about brand supremacy as it was all those years ago because wwe had done away with the concept of general managers and commissioners now with this company being handled by one manager on both the brands it was less about out of smackdown or raw was a superior brand rather it was about which championship was given the more bigger prestige over the other the situation was such that anybody could have held any title with the limited resources available and a virtual crowd environment i think this pay per view will have its place in history it may not have the bragging rights of previous survivor series pay per views because of the different environment and how those pay per views were played out but whatever they could they did an excellent job was the biggest show piece was the one between the world heavyweight champion drew mcintyre and the universal heavyweight champion roman reigns and though reigns did manage to overcome mcintyre only because of external help both these individuals in their respective championship reigns in their respective brands are going to hold this title for a long time can they also get into the hall of fame well that depends on how the hall of fame is decided but roman reigns drew mcintyre are definitely future hall of famers there were some strange moments when in the survivor series 515 elimination match the men's division the entire smackdown team was eliminated being labeled as a clean sweep despite having 10 of the top wrestlers in the ring but that is what is a little strange about survivor series though there are matchups do you want to see the matchups and the wrestling between two wrestlers but the strange part is unlike in a normal match where they prolong their victory or defeat depending on how the match has been propositioned here when it's an elimination it happens quite fast and such survivor series 5 on 5 elimination matches where five individuals of each brand both from the men and women's division come together it is always a temporary alliance they have their own ego clashes they put it away for that one pay per view and once that pay per view is over they are back to their rivalry moments again and this is what exactly happened the next day when it was announced that there would be a series of singles matches the winners of those singles matches would then compete in a triple threat match and the winner of that match would meet drew mcintyre for a wwe championship match which means after a long layoff aj styles is back in the championship contention along with matt riddle and keith lee who are also looking for their first ever wwe world heavyweight championship opportunity yes keith lee and drew mcintyre have gone at it before but it was a different circumstance now it's the winner between lee riddle and aj styles and the winner of that will face drew mcintyre for a world champion opportunity 
will there be a deja vu as far as universal championship match goes means will there be a series of matches and the winner of those will face roman reigns for the universal heavyweight championship well that depends on how the story goes as far as the smackdown brand is concerned but do i want to see that yes of course i don't mind it's almost a parallel story if drew mcintyre has a championship rival waiting for him well roman reigns also needs to face someone of good caliber and does it mean that someone like seth rollins is back in the championship opportunity since both the brands both raw and smackdown are being run by the same person the same manager will he do a deja vu and also go for a series of matches for the universal heavyweight championship match it could be a possibility it may or may not happen which means by the time the final pay per view of 2020 comes that is the tables ladders and chairs match in which we might see a couple of ladder matches as far as the championships are concerned it's me for the intercontinental as well as the united states championship there could be a match in this regard but we never know what's going to happen anything can happen in the four weeks leading up to the next paper view we may have a new world heavyweight champion if drew mcintyre loses to the winner of the match between lee riddle and aj styles since we are talking about championships and other such things let's talk about how a former australian player said that india may lose the series 4-0 if a certain individual doesn't start on a high note that's a pure subjective assessment which basically means that since the time the mind games started for this particular tour everybody has been saying that in the absence of a certain individual the team may not be able to go all the way and fight tooth and nail as far as the results in the tournament are concerned but that is once again a subjective assessment and there are two parts to this particular individuals evaluation or prediction or spoiler whatever you may want to call it there is a deep respect for a certain individual who has influence others as far as his attitude and his game is concerned but at the same time there is disrespect to other players who have been selected for this tournament by saying that i am dismissing every other player who will not be able to perform if one individual does not set the tournament on fire well it's an insult and disrespect both and i do not agree with this assessment yes it's subjective it's personal but it's of course biased but such assessments or evaluations are also coming upon the pressure of the broadcasters who are making sure that before this individual leaves he is given so much of importance so much of air time there is so much discussion around him that the broadcasters and the advertisers can get maximum revenue from the time this particular individual is in the playing capacity once he leaves the broadcasters know that people may not watch the tournament they will not get that kind of revenue and air time so they are trying to maximize whatever they can so yes a bit of pressure from the broadcasters also forces such individuals to focus on one individual so that they can make maximum profit in that limited time the individual will spend his time in that particular tournament lal meri pat rakhyo bala jhole lal na lal meri pat rakhyo bala jhole lal na sindri da 
सेवन दास की शाबाश कलंदर दम मस्त कलंदर अली दम दम दे अंदर दमा दम मस्त कलंदर अली दम दम दे अंदर दमा दम मस्त कलंदर अली दा पहला नंबर आल मेरी ओ हो ओ लाल मेरी चार चरा तेरे बरन हमेशा ओ लाल मेरी ओ हो ओ लाल मेरी चार चराग तेरे बरन हमेशा ओ लाल मेरी चार चरन तेरा बरन हमेशा पंजवा में बरन आइए बला झूले लालन ओ पंजवा में बरन आइए बड़ा झूले लालन सिंदरी दा सेवन दा सकी शाबास कलंदर दमादम मस्त कलंदर हिन सिन पीरा नौ बाज वाजे मस्त कलंदर हिन सिन पीरा तेरी नौ बाद वाजे दमादम मस्त कलंदर हिन सिन पीरा तेरी नौ बाद वाजे वाजे घड़ियाल बला चूले लालन ओ नाल वाजे ओ नाल वाजे घड़िया बड़ा झूले लालन सिंदरी दा सेवन दा शकी साबास कलंदर दमा दम मस्त कलंदर ओ हो 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 ओ ओ ओ ओ हो 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 हर दम पीरा तेरी खैर होवे ओ हो 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 ओ हो 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 ओ हो ओ हो हो हर दम पीरा तेरी खैर होवे ओ हो 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 ओ हो 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 ओ हो हर दम पीरा तेरी खैर होवे ए अली बेड़ा पार लगा झूले लालन ओ नाम ए अली अली ओ नाम ए अली बेड़ा पार लगे झूले लालन सिंदरी दा सेवन दा शकी साबास कलंदर दमा दम मस्त कलंदर Her voice shook. She said, "And so some of us got together, and and I thought of this. It was really having Augustus that put it into my mind to see. To most people, one pekinis is very much like another, just as we think the Chinese are." Really, of course, it's ridiculous. No one who knew could mistake Augustus for Nanki Poo or Shawn Tung or any of the other peaks. He is far more intelligent for one thing, and he is much handsomer. But as I say to most people, a peak is just a peak. Augustus put it into my head that combined with the fact that so many rich women have pekinis. dogs i said with a faint smile it must have been a profitable racket how many are there in the gang or perhaps i had better ask how often operations have been successfully carried out miss carnaby said simply shan tan was the 16th hercule poro raised his eyebrows I congratulate you your organization must have been indeed excellent Emily Carnaby said Amy was always good at organization our father he was the vicar of Kellington in Essex always said that Amy had quite a genius for planning she always made all the arrangements for the socials and the bazaars and all that Poirot said with a little bow, "I agree. As a criminal, Noiselle, you are quite in the first rank." Amy Carnaby cried, "A criminal? Oh dear! I suppose I am, but but it never felt like that. How did it feel? Of course, you are quite right. It was breaking the law. But you see, how can I explain it?" Nearly all these women who employ us are so very rude and unpleasant. Lady Hogan, for instance, 
doesn't mind what she says to me. She said her tonic tasted unpleasant the other day and practically accused me of tampering with it. All that sort of thing. Miss Carnaby flushed. It's really very unpleasant. And not being able to say anything or answer back makes it rankle more if you know what I mean. I know what you mean, said Hercule Poirot. And then seeing money frittered away so wastefully, that is upsetting. And Sir Joseph, occasionally he used to describe a coup he had made in the city. Sometimes something that seemed to me, of course, I know I have only got a woman's brain and don't understand finance, downright dishonest. But you know, Mr. Poirot, it all, it all unsettled me. And I felt that to take a little money away from these people who really wouldn't miss it and hadn't been to us in acquiring it, well, really, it hardly seemed wrong at all. I thought this showed a vindictive spirit in the old ward hog and one that I deplored, but I felt it would be injudicious to say so. I mainly nodded understandingly. I was thankful that there was no danger of this contingency as Jeeves would have called it arising. Strong in the knowledge that nothing would induce me to pinch their ruddy statuette, I was able to remain calm and nonchalant. As calm and nonchalant as you can be when a fellow foot six in height with one eye bunged up and the other behaving like an acetylene blowpipe is glaring at you. Yes, sir, said Spoot, it will be choky for you. And he was going on to say that he would derive great pleasure from coming on visiting days and making this at me through the bars when Pop Basset returned, but a very different Basset from the fizzy rejoicer who had excited so short a while before. Training had been all buck and beans, as any father would have been whose daughter was not going to marry Gussie Fink Nottle. Now his face was drawn and his general demeanor that of an incautious luncher who discovers when there is no time to drop back that he has swallowed a rather too elderly oyster. Madeline tells me he began. Then he saw Spood's eye and broke off. It was the sort of eye which even if you have a lot on your mind, you can't help noticing. Good gracious, Roderick, he said. Did you have a fall? Fall my foot, said Spood. I was shocked by a curate. Good heavens, what curate? There's only one in these parts, isn't there? You mean you were assaulted by Mr. Pinker? You astound me, Roderick. Spood spoke with genuine feeling. Not half as much as he astounded me. He was more or less of a revelation to me. I don't mind telling you because I don't know curates had left books like that. He's got a knack of fainting you off balance and then coming in with sort of corkscrew punch, which it's impossible not to admire. I must get him to teach it to me some time. For more awesome content, tune in to the next episode of the weekly show with Aditya. For more awesome content, Tune in to the next episode of the weekly show with Aditya.